Hello everybody, James, Bullets and Buttons. Uh, today's video, as you can see, is a little different. Uh, different machine, and uh, I think you'll find that the results are as pleasing as I found them. Very surprised, very impressed, and uh, I look forward to showing you here in a couple of minutes. So stay tuned, and we'll talk to you soon. Oh my, what is this? Where's my Deus? Huh. All right, yep, I got a MindLab GPX 4800. And uh, this is my first signal. Let's see what happens. All right, <clears throat> it is a piece of lead, and it is, ho, ho, ho. It is a partial 69 caliber. Look at that. That thing was, that was, I'd say, seven inches down. And I've walked this road before, and I missed it. Wow. My thanks to Bama Dave uh, for talking me through getting this thing set up. So that's brilliant. What a way to start. Very happy with that. And the signal was just exactly like Bama Dave said it would be. That's amazing. All right, let's keep looking. But I don't know what it's gonna be. So let's see, hopefully. Ah, see Gone Digging has a video that I watched and he said, a good target will never sound bad, but a bad target can sound good. So there you go, there's my first example. Should have uh, videoed this, but I thought it was just going to be a little bit of lead. I've got a button, but it's a four hole. It's a two piece. Look at that. I'll be. I got my first button out here. Brilliant. Okay, another signal. And another little bit of lead, wow. That was uh, about five, six inches down. Again, an area that uh, Bama Dave and I have absolutely hammered. I am impressed with this machine. Like this. That's a piece of cut lead. If they're trying to make a dice. Very cool. Look at that. It was a good signal, but I dug it. So I dug it. Turns out it's a piece of iron, but it's a file. You can still see the teeth in the iron right there. Wow. All right then. Yeah. 22. That's my first 22 out here. Wow. Okay, I'm actually, uh, I got a tone going on in the, you know, just a constant tone, very low, which I actually, it's actually, a, it's at a good frequency for me. I find it quite uh, easy to, easy to tolerate. Well, not even that, like, it's just, it's just a comforting tone. So, uh, yeah, that's brilliant. Hopefully I get that all in. Ha! All right, let's keep looking. Oh, ho, ho. that's looking promising. I can see it right there. Yep, holy cow. I got another 69 caliber. I think this one was fired. Yeah, check that out. Very cool. Very happy with that. Getting sunlight there. 
There you go. Brilliant. I may have another one, and I haven't walked but six feet. And yeah, you know, I've just realized in all my excitement with this new machine that I, I can get it out. Here we go. I've forgotten my little handy dandy tool. <whistles> Crazy thing is, I know that this area has been walked over multiple times. Oh, there it is. Yep. Wow, look at that. Heavily ramrodded. 69 caliber. Check that out. Or should I say ramrodded, then fired. That's brilliant. I just dug out this piece right here. Literally where I'm kneeling. And... Swung my coil and got another signal. I got another fired 69 caliber. Wow. Oh, wow, this is a mushroom too. Jeez, look at that. Wow. That's amazing. I mean, that's fire close range. If you figure the 69 caliber probably didn't get that much muzzle velocity. Amazing. This has no rings. I wonder if that's a, um, an Enfield. I think I've got an Enfield. Fired Enfield. There you go. Finally got a Confederate bullet in this location. I figured I would. Wow, that's heavily impacted too. That whacked into something. Yeah, what it is, but the signal was not. For iron. Chewed up bullet. Wow. Chewed up or melted. Wow. Must have been almost on the surface because it was loud. Wow. Look at that thing. Amazing. This was shallow and it wasn't cutting that. Oh, what we got? Ah, we got copper wire. <laughs> Well, you know what I say about copper wire, battery money for the G2. All right, let's keep looking. A button or it's the base of a shotgun shell. Or it's the base to a button. Check that out. Oh, brilliant. Can't say I can read that right now. Something button, Waterberry Button Company. Oh, cool. Check that out. Base to a button. Let's see what we got. It's a button, it looks like. It's another four hole button. Interesting. So oh, my other four hole button was somewhere in this area. Ah. Two piece again. All right, cool, I'll take it. Well, safe to say that I'm impressed with the GPX 4800. Uh, great machine. All I can say is that I am um, heard something behind me um all i can say that as i was very impressed i went over ground that dave and i had gone over before and i was pulling stuff out the ground 
that we should have picked up with our uh, machines but as I mentioned before in uh, videos in this location mineralization and uh, GPX 4800 absolutely knocked it out the park today so I appreciate you coming along I appreciate you sticking to the end and uh, as always wherever you are in the world happy hunting and good luck and above all else be safe talk to you later folks see ya Bye.